Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to talk about circles. Uh, circle, uh, from the last section, you remember, is not a function. Because if you have a circle and you do that vertical line test, you'll see that every single vertical line you draw goes through two points on that circle. So it's not a function but uh, by the definition, but it is a very important graph for you to know because circles are everywhere, literally, and very important. And so the equation of a circle is very important as well. So let me write down what the uh, standard form of the equation of a circle is. The uh, standard form of the equation of a circle. Okay, so I'm going to write this, and it looks like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, before you, you get too wrapped up into this, don't get, don't get too scared by this. This looks a lot uh, harder than it is. Let me just finish a few things, and then we'll... Uh, We'll uh, tackle it. Okay, some notes I want to tell you. The center of this circle is located at uh, h comma k. Okay, and the radius of the circle is equal to r. Okay, so you see you have all the important pieces of information in order to formulate a circle. You have a center at h k, h and k. Okay, so that tells you where the center is. This r when it is uh, the, uh, the radius of the circle, so that's how big the circle is, okay? And uh, these square terms, everything's squared because in the end, you know, a circle kind of curves. And so remember from your parabola, your parabola looked like a, like a square term. Well, this is a special case of, of, uh, of, a, of an equation that whenever you bang it out and actually look at it, it forms a circle and goes all the way around, okay? But really, this is what we call the standard form, and it's very important for you to know so I'm going to kind of highlight it like this. It's very important for you to know. Okay. Uh, now just think about this for a second. Let's say the center of the circle was at the origin, okay, at the 0, 0. So that would mean h and k were 0. And so if the center of the circle is at the uh, origin, 0, 0, then this reduces to x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared if the circle is centered at 0, 0. Okay? Now I'm just going to do a little bit here uh, just to show you a little something. If you were to solve for y, if you wanted to plot this thing, if you wanted to solve for y, then you would say y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. Okay? because you're just moving the x squared over. And then you would say y is equal to plus or minus the square root of uh, r squared minus x squared. Because in order to get y by itself, you'd take the square root. And anytime you do that, you have to have a plus and a minus there. Uh, because anytime you take the square root, the negative answer is just import as important as the positive answer. Because when you square something, uh, negative really goes away. And so you have to put negative positive whenever you take the square root of something. Okay. So what I'm getting at here, and the only reason I even tell you that is, this looks like a really complicated thing. This x squared plus y squared is r squared, or, or even this one up here, okay? But really, if you solve for y, what you will get is two, uh, two equations. One is y is equal to positive this stuff, and y is equal to negative this stuff. And if you were to take the time to graph both of those functions, the positive one would give you the top half of the circle, and the negative one would give you the bottom half of the circle. So that is why this is the equation of a circle, because if you were to actually solve it for y, 